What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about the upcoming Strangers trilogy from Lionsgate and Rennie Harlan, which has now officially been confirmed from Entertainment Weekly, who also gave us an exclusive first set of images to look at chapter one and official titles. They gave us official titles of the trilogy, first set of images, comments from Rennie Harlan himself, and a confirmation that these films will indeed be arriving in theaters next year. We're going to be going over all of that in this video here today. So I want to start off with Rennie Harlan's comments. And before I dive into that, I do just want to say briefly, these pictures, they do look fantastic to me. I'm very satisfied with how they captured some of that essence of that first movie in these images. When this opportunity came to me, Rennie Harlan states in this interview, the idea of not doing a remake or a reboot, but doing a trilogy based on the original film, I thought it was an incredible opportunity. The Strangers Chapter 1 is close to the original movie in its setup of a young couple in an isolated environment in a house and a home invasion happened for random reasons the strangers chapter 2 and the strangers chapter 3 will explore what happens to the victims of this kind of violence and who the perpetrators are of this kind of violence where are they coming from and why he also talked a little bit about the mass process he said we felt it was central to the movie that the masks are the same and i do want to remind you guys there was a time in the past where i did state that they were going to be keeping a similar mask design and they followed through with that the mask in the strangers are not like the bat suit or something that evolves over years to us the strangers are the strangers and i as an audience member wanted to see them just the way they were in the original film is there a place where you can find these masks no it was a process of studying what they were like how were they made how they fit on the actors faces how to create that same impression it was one of the real challenges of the movie. He also highlighted how they wanted a realism aspect to the film with the characters we first meet with Madeline Pesh and her boyfriend, which of course is going to be very important if you want me to invest in their bond and get me invested in this relationship that's clearly going to be at the center of this film. I will say there again, the images that were released, they look fantastic. Very reminiscent of that first movie. And I'm going to assume that the characters we do not initially see in this first film, because now... The, the casting and how stacked it was. I know I and many, many of you who messaged me were concerned that it seemed kind of crowded, but I admittedly was neglecting the fact that, of course, we're getting three movies, so the cast can be spread out over these three movies. So I don't expect us to have a crowded bunch in chapter one. We'll meet this crowded bunch throughout the maybe chapter one, chapter two, and probably a lot of chapter three. Uh, so I'm excited to see how this first film captures that essence of the original if it can stand on its own, and if it can just be a gripping slasher film. That's really all we need with some strong performances, which I know Madeline Pesh is going to knock it out of the park. She's one of the best actors I recall from Riverdale, even though I gave up on that show during season two. So Harlan did state that this trilogy is based on the original film, but keep in mind an actress who was also involved with these set of films did state that it's in the same world. So I'm still expecting some sort of loose connections to these past two movies, and I cannot wait to see how they tie it all up. Uh, but again, I'm going to assume that these characters that are featured throughout the trilogy, some of them, if not more, more than one for certain are going to be one of our strangers, one of our titular strangers. What their motives will be, I don't know. I really sincerely do not want to see a cult angle where they're all tied into the previous films because they were part of a cult. But if they go that route, if it's executed well, I will say it's executed well and commended. I just also at the same time would have preferred less cult stuff i'm pretty tired of seeing cults i mean we got a cult in jeepers creepers 4 and while we're on the topic of these new redesigns if you're disappointed in the redesign i will say that jeepers creepers fans who are also fans of the strangers you're probably far more pleased with this <laughs> than what you got with the recent return of the jeepers creepers franchise and how very little they seem to care about preserving that original look at least with these new strangers designs you can tell that they are trying to pay respect to that original set of films and that original look yes there are noticeable differences but not to the point where i'm like oh that's not the strangers the way when i see the jeepers creepers 4 and the creeper makeup for the creeper and jeepers creepers 4 i'm like what the hell is that 
So I like the new mask designs. I like the way they look. I like how it's preserving what we got in those first two movies. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. What do you think about the new images? Are you excited to see the Strangers trilogy in theaters next year? Why or why not? Or really, do you not care? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.